Keep that microphone about a fist a fist away from your face. Keep that microphone keep that microphone away from your face. Pull it closer. Pull it a bit closer. Pull that microphone a little closer, why don't you? It's not close enough. Keep pulling it closer. It's not close enough. That was that was Joe Rogan. In the Bob Lazar episode he just posted recently. That was Joe Rogan. What up, bitches? Ladies and gentlemen, I should say, welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast episode 81. 81? Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Say that every episode. Let's say it again, why don't we? Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep 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 doing that racist shit. I dare ya. Ooh, baby, blue, baby, blue. Yeah. You know, Joe Rogan does uh He does a lot of the same things over and over again throughout his podcast, and I'm sure I do too. Actually I know I do. But one of the more annoying ones and I know why he does it. But it's it's <laughs> Pretty well, every new guest that comes on the show, he tells them multiple times throughout the episode to pull the microphone closer to their face. And I know in the past, people were complaining in the comments about uh, the, the they can't hear the friggin' guests because the microphone isn't close enough to their mouth. And I can't remember if they had different mic- microphones at that time or... Or if it actually was too far away. But but honestly, I can usually always hear the guests pretty clear and loud. And pulling the mic closer to, the, to their face doesn't really make that much of a difference. But Joe keeps reminding them over and over again to do it. And I, and you know, I like his tenacity to be able to keep reminding someone to keep doing what needs to be done to make this podcast perfect but um fuck man he does it too much and it's unnecessary it really is it's kind of and it and it almost becomes annoying to listen to joe keep telling his friggin um guests to pull that shit closer to their face you know it's fine. He can hear them. They got high professional. I mean, <laughs> high professional, high quality. Sure, 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 sure. Mics. Is that how you pronounce it? Sure, sure. Who? Sure. Who? Who? Burger, 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 Um. I also noticed recently that I was. Ooh. I hope I don't run out of space. I forgot to delete some stuff. Damn it, I knew I'd forget something. But anyway, I, I noticed my camera setting um, wasn't set to the highest quality it could produce. So I changed that. So hopefully we see a more crisp image. I hope so. 4K up in this biatch. Dro- and, uh, but I did drop my phone um, not that long ago. Like last weekend. Remember I was talking about the smash and splash? The crash and dash? The hash and, and smash? Um, well, right when that was all over, the Sunday, um, family was around. Me and my cousin decided we are going to play tennis out on the street. Because there was, uh, we found two tennis rackets and tennis balls in, in my dad's garage. So we went out on the street. It's not, it's a cul-de-sac. It wasn't like a, you know, it's not a street where there's constantly vehicles driving around. Um, but anyway, we were hitting that tennis ball back and forth. He hit it hard a few times and I couldn't catch it and it smashed into a few vehicles, but that's fine. Didn't do any damage. No car alarms. 
Um, but then he smashed it, and it went whoop, fucking to the next town almost. So I had to go chase that thing, because now it's in a in a street where there's traffic. So I could either said, hey, I'll just leave it, or I'll go get it. And I'm not gonna leave it. Uh, so I had these shorts on. I actually had Riley Hawk shorts. You know Riley Hawk, Tony Hawk's son. He's got a clothing line and some and nice shorts. I liked them. They're exactly what I'm looking for in a pair of shorts. They got pockets. Uh, they're the they're like a, a a cotton material. And they got the strings. They even have a butt pocket with a zipper on it. Uh, so comfy. Not too short, because there's nothing worse than a sh really short pair of shorts where your nuts are pretty well hanging out. They're short, comfy, pockets. Pockets are the main thing. I need pockets in whatever I'm wearing on my legs. Strings, which I don't, you know, sometimes you lose weight, sometimes you gain weight. You need those strings, am I right? Tie that shit up. And I have my shit tied. Ugh. We're getting a little off topic here. But anyway, I was running to catch that tennis ball. And as I took off, my phone slipped out of my pocket. Because my phone, for one, it doesn't have a case. But for two, it doesn't have a case, so it makes it slippier. But two, uh, it's, it's, it's big in size. It's not as big as the Nexus I once had, but it's, you know, it's fairly large. So... To put it in really any pocket other than jeans, it kind of sticks out a bit, and it leans off to the to one side. You can either flip it so that it's completely horizontal in your pocket, because the 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 uh, shorts are stretchy a bit, so it fits in there, and, and it, then it'll stay. But then when people look at you, they're like, "What's going on with your leg? You have a big horizontal rectangle." But then you think, ah, well, people are obviously going to know that's your phone. But it feels strange and it looks strange in your pocket like that. So I keep it vertically in my pocket. And that means part of it's sticking out. And it's kind of leaned off to one side a bit. So when I take off running, which I did, uh, the phone stayed behind. And it fell on the ground. So I had to turn around, grab it. When I threw it in my pocket, didn't look at it. Um, everything still works though. Uh, there's only there's a little scrape on the on the corner of it. Um, the S Pen popped out when it fell, which happens every time I've noticed. The S Pen like has an eject. Does the S Pen have an eject feature? <laughs> like it's trying to save its life or something when it knows it's it's falling. Almost like the. Uh, Whose phone is it? Is it the Wow? No, it's the it's the One Plus Seven, the camera that slides out. When um, when that phone, if the camera's out and that phone detects it falling, the camera zips back in very quickly, so you don't damage the camera. And so maybe the Samsung Note Eight, uh, the S Pen in it, is saying, "Shit, I gotta get out of here." I'm going to die. And uh, he want, he ejects himself. He ejects himself as soon as he hits the ground. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Um, let's take a look at our card for today. Episode 81. If you don't know, I have cue cards for every episode. Sometimes I write shit, sometimes I don't. Well, every time I write something. But sometimes it's nonsense, sometimes it's just one topic, sometimes it's, you know, I took the time to actually think of some shit. And usually what I do is if I think of something away from here, if I'm not near the cue cards, I'll write it in my phone. And then I'll, as soon as I come home to start recording the next episode, I'll write down everything I have in, uh, in my phone onto a cue card. 
Uh-oh, I think we ran out of fucking... Yeah, just like I said, the fucking... I didn't delete old footage, and my SD card got full. So now it's going to be a little bit more difficult to edit. Because i got to fuck around and sync more audio up halfway through. And it ruined my segue. I had a segue rumbling around in my head, ready to ready to produce that shit. But then it went boom, paused itself. Fucking bullshit. This is actually bullshit. I need a new camera. I don't want to have to rely on my phone, because the phone is not reliable. You get me? It is. But it does shit like that. And you know, it's just, I need a camera, but I don't got that money. I don't got that money, you know what I'm saying? I don't got that money. We get that money, 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 money. Hey, get that money, 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 money. I get that fast money in the fly cars. Get the fast money in the fly cars. Get that. That was in an episode of Breaking Bad. Remember? You remember? When Jesse got those dope ass speakers and sound set up in his living room. He was playing that song, I think. I think that's when it was. And then everyone dropped to the floor. Drop to the floor, pull down your pants, and give me some more. You know what's funny about floors? When when someone has a plate of food... Uh-oh, my pen's broke. When someone has a plate of food... Like, let's say someone just whipped up a meal they've been working on for two hours. Cutting vegetables. Cooking spaghetti. Whatever it is, I don't know. But then they have the plate in their hand. And they're walking. They're walking to the, you know, to the table to go eat their food. And they're, they got a big old smile on their face. Because they work so hard on this food. And they're just so excited to eat it. And then all of a sudden, they stub their toe on a, on a cat or something. And the fucking food falls on the floor face first. <laughs> Woo! That shit is funny. Oh my god. If there's one thing that can make me laugh. Um, 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 over amongst any other thing. Whether it's farts, poop in the face, whatever. Food falling on the floor. <laughs> that shit is funny. Doesn't matter what context it is. Even if someone's just... You know, pulling some pickles out of the fridge and they grab it by the lid. <laughs> but the lid wasn't screwed on all the way. <laughs> and the jar falls on the ground and smash. <laughs> that sh- that shit's so funny. That's what really gets cracks me up. Oh, I love it. I don't know why it's so funny to me. But it really is. No matter what, like... Just food falling on the floor. Like I said, don't know con- doesn't matter what context it is. Someone could just take a bunch of pieces of salami and start throwing them on the floor. <laughs> and I would laugh my ass off. But you know what, though? Um, There is, like, the odd few times where I, I wouldn't laugh if someone's food fell on the floor. Like... I know I said it's funny if they're preparing the food and all that. You know, that's all, that all adds to the humor once it happens. But if someone gets, like, really sad <laughs> because they drop their food, then it's, like, then it's not funny. But if they get, like, pissed off <laughs> or, like, or just, I don't know. Yeah, usually anger because that's what you see, the anger. When they're angry, <laughs> They go from happy to 
fucking pissed off. <laughs> Uh, and the dog comes over and starts eating the food. Oh, that's that's the best. You don't because you don't get to see food falling on the floor very often either. We live our lives trying to prevent that from happening as much as possible. But when it does happen, <laughs> oh, it's the best. I love it. I could just watch a compilation video of food falling on the floor all day. You know what? No, I wouldn't do that because then I'd get sick of it. And plus it's not it's not as funny watching it in a video. You got to see it in real life. I wonder how funny it would be um if there was like a construction worker sitting on the I beam up in the sky like like in the old 40s pictures. Whoops. Where's my pen? Found it. And they're eating a sandwich and they drop that shit from up there all the way down to the to the street. That probably that that would be funny, but you'd have to be there, I think. Especially if it hits someone in the head. <laughs> That'd probably kill someone or hurt them, wouldn't it? From from that high because you you know well I don't know maybe it would just like sting the salami sandwich hit you in the top of the head like as it's falling the bread's like flapping and opens up and <laughs> and there's just two slices of bread <laughs> one with like mayo on it the other one has the the cheese and and <laughs> and salami on it and it's coming down fuck it terminal velocity smashes someone right in the top of the head would that kill them <laughs> or would it just be like a stinging sensation like someone slapped you in the top of the head really hard or what if it landed on a vehicle would it crush the vehicle or dent it at least you know what it probably wouldn't cause well I don't know Bread's a little light. I feel like bread would have a lot of wind resistance keeping it afloat. Maybe. I don't know. Someone's got to drop a piece of... some. You know what? Someone who lives in a, in a high sky-rise condo. Make a sandwich. Find a way to the top floor. Find a way to the roof. Or if you live high enough up, you can step out onto your balcony... And drop that shit. <laughs> but don't, you know, do it at night when there's no one around or or at some time when there's no one around. Look at these. I'm wearing these pajamas again. I can literally stretch them up to here. You can see it in the bottom of the camera there. I'm stretching these. From the seat, from my, it's, my leg is curled up on my seat right now. So I'm stretching this from my seat. Pretty well up to, you know, up to the, up to here. They're so stretchy. I know you can't really tell on camera. I showed you last time. Uh, if you were here right now, you would say, "What the fuck's wrong with your pants? Why are they so stretchy?" I don't know what to tell you. Oliver's having a conniption fit. He doesn't know what to do. I left the door open a little bit this time so he can come in and out. But he's kind of lost without a lap to sit on. Isn't that right, Olive? Come here. There he is. Ovo. Oscar Mayer Olive. He, uh, he exhales. He does that all the time. Why do you do that, Olive? Something smell bad? I had a friend in elementary school who would do that like if, if if someone farted or there was like a gross food smell or diarrhea in the in the men's room in the little boys room and if he would smell something bad first he would inhale to see how bad it was and then he'd go and exhale a bunch <laughs> 
like an animal. You know who you are if you're listening. And you probably still do it to this day. And you know what? What the f- fuck is going on? Well, ladles and, and fuckers. I guess I can't record in, in the maximum quality because uh, my fucking SD card can't take it. He's saying, ah, you're filling me up too quick. You're filling me up. Pour, pour it out. I don't want that much juice in me. I can't handle it. I need, I need, to, you know, I've got a virgin SD card. I need a slut of an SD card. One who can take as much as she possibly can. Stuff her. Stuff her to the brim. I want it coming out of her mouth. You're gross. Let's go on Asimon right now. I swear to God, if this shit stops recording again, I'm going to shit marbles. I swear to Jesus, I'm going to shit my marbles. I'm probably not even signed in on this computer. So I'll have to fucking... Rem- oh, no, I am signed in. Beautiful! Yes! Very nice! Very nice! Very, very nice! Let's look at the Google or the Amazon machine. We got micro SD. I want, I want as big as I can get. Give me a terabyte. 256 gigabytes? Ooh. Wow, that's what I need. The 256. See, there's one here for $55. There's a Samsung one for $60. Holy Christ. But then, oh my God, there's a 400 gigabyte micro SD. $92. $92 for little. Oh, that's crazy, man. But then there's... Then there's... Uh, this one doesn't even have a brand name. 256 gigabytes. What? Or is that just the fucking name of it? Micro SD up to 80 megabytes? What does that mean? They're, they're trying to confuse you with the wording of this one. You can't fool me, bitch! Wow. T- a 256 gigabyte micro SD card costs. Sixty-nine dollars. Ah. Oh, hundred and twenty-eight costs twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight. I can afford that. I can afford that shit, bruh. Should I get it? Should I get the one twenty-eight? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need it, so I might as well get it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, now I gotta sign in again. Is that what you're saying? Fuck! I don't remember my password. Shit! What the hell's my password? Okay, good. Fingered it out. Place my order. Hell yeah. Oh, I won't get it till July 2nd, though. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. At least I'm getting it, right? <laughs> Who would have known? A little, a little, a little. It's smaller than a piece of cereal. 
and it's almost a hundred dollars for the big boy. It's crazy. Keep that mic a fist away from your face, would you? It's too fucking it's too fucking far away. Can't hear you. I can't fucking hear you. Did I tell you I witnessed a hit and run the other day? I can't remember. I was doing my business. Actually working at my job. I'm not going to tell you what we were doing because I don't want to. All right? You don't have to know anything about my job because I don't want to tell you. You understand? The, th- the Just the thought of thinking about that during a podcast makes me want to puke. Makes me want to blast my brains to you, Jupiter. So no, you'll never know until I quit. Ah! Where was I? So I was working, okay? And then... So right across the street from where I was working, there was... uh, Well, there still is a school. The school, I actually went to school. High school, too. Wow, how many times can you say school? Um, and it was it was around lunchtime, so all the students were, you know, heading out to the parking lot to go. To go for lunch. Smoke some weed. And uh, getting shit. You know how it is. You know how high school is. So. I'm watching. I'm watching what they're doing. No, I'm not actually. I'm working. And um, all of a sudden, this student. Sorry, I'm think. I'm thinking about this SD card situation, and why it, why it, why it plugged up so fast. But doesn't matter. Anyway, wait. What is this? Never mind. Sorry, where was I? Where was I? Oh yeah. So this girl in a PT Cruiser, silver one, um, backs out of her parking spot as fast as she can. And she smashes into the uh, driver's side rear corner of the car, of another car. A uh, a Jeep looking thing. Um, Or more more of like like the SUV style Jeep. And so... Right after that, she just drives away. She just leaves. And so this guy in an orange Dodge chases her. And he doesn't catch up to her. He comes back. And, um, yeah, there's nothing really to it. A lot of commotion. A lot of a lot of teenagers just standing around wondering what to do. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Why you why? Why are you telling me about this then? Because got nothing else to talk about. Got nothing else except for the fact that something happened in my walk and now I can't remember. Although today I went for a walk in the morning and I looked at the weather, said there is a seventy percent chance it's gonna rain. I looked outside, it was cloudy definitely looked like it was going to rain, but I said, Olive, let's go for a walk. Went for a walk, walked to the complete opposite side of town, got all the way there, feeling good, listening to a podcast, then all of a sudden, shit starts raining, and it's coming down, and Olive's filthy, this is like the fucking Elk Island nightmare all over again. <laughs> um, although I didn't have quite as far of a walk to go, which was good. Um, less than fucking two kilometers. So, like I said, the town I live in is not big. So I had to walk from one side of the town to the other side in the rain. And I was a little grumpy when I got inside, but then I got over it. Had to I had to wash Oliver because he was filth. Can you hear this? 
You hear that scraping? That's me being annoying. I'm going to stop now. See, I'm wondering why... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I know what's going on. Yep. It's the fucking camera. Now I remember. When you try to record in ultra high definition, it only records for 10 minutes and then shuts off. Every time. So I... So I probably do, well I definitely do have space on my card because the, when I went back to this um, definition, you know, it's still recording and it will continue to record. I didn't even need that fucking SD card. Fuck. Oh well. Oh well. Now I can just record longer podcasts if I want to, which I'm sure is going to happen. I would have I would have needed it eventually anyway, trust me. Don't ever forget why you cherish what you cherish. Will you be my heritage beauty? Will you be my heritage beauty heritage 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 should we uh, first let me just check something personal here before I start recording because 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 I'm an I'm an asshole and I do personal stuff on my podcast while you're trying to listen to what I'm trying to say. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. So do you want to do some Reddit? Of course you do. Let's do some Reddit. Reddit, 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 Reddit. I started playing, um, I started playing Super, Super Mario World for the SNES. I have a mini one, that, the one you can buy from Amazon. Shit's fun still fun to this day and I remember a lot of like the little secrets that they have and whatnot uh, so down up down up down up you don't know what I'm doing screw you down down uh, look who's back we got the Saxenda guy remember him embrace Saxenda let change into your life you have penis problems? Saxenda. Here we go. What is this thing? Anyone know what this is from? My grandmother recently passed. And we are going through her memories. She stole it from Paris when she visited us. Visited. Yes. Stole. Lol. Believe it was from a game of some kind. Any help will be great. Thank you. Let's see what it is. Apparently it's solved. It's a petanque ball. Bro, what does that even mean? It's a sports game where you stand at a certain distance from a target and try to throw these balls as close to it as possible. The catch being that the opposing team also wants the same. Hence, a lot of tactics of the game revolves around knocking and blocking each other's balls. Like Baki? Like Bocce? I think so. Yes, same game, different name. It's bocce ball. 24. Cool. Now this, I've seen this earlier today on the toilet. 
black magic fuckery. It's, um, you know, it's just the frame rate of the camera compared to the way the fan's spinning. It looks like it's doing things that it's not. Ah uh -huh. And there goes all the champagne. Let's hear it. I don't understand. Why do people do that? If you rub it along the neck, it's just going to hit the fucking lip of the bottle and smash. You got to hit the cork. Not the goddamn lip of the bottle, you stupid. Is this, what, is this the cat on the wing of the plane? Yeah, it is. We've all seen this shit. We don't got to see this again. Impala fighting while its intestines are falling out. Well, I can't show that on YouTube. This cloud formation looks like an at-at on Hoth. I don't watch Star Wars, but I'm sure that's what they're referring to. Disappearing beaker. There's a beaker in a beaker. He's going to pour some... Fluid into the small beaker that's inside the big beaker. It looks like some sort of detergent. It's kind of thick. And he's letting it run. Why am I explaining it? You can see what's going on. This is pretty cool, actually. The mini beaker is disappearing. Wow, that is definitely black magic fuckery. <gasps> there it is. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? What do people have to say about it? The inside beaker is transparent because the liquid poured has the same refraction index as the glass used to create the beaker. So the experiment wouldn't work with water? No, it does. That's why public pools don't allow glass near them. Because if the glass breaks and goes in, the only way to see any glass at the bottom of the pool is to drain the pool. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but that's not entirely accurate. This experiment works because vegetable oil and Pyrex both have a refraction index that's roughly the same. 1.47-ish. Blah, 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 blah. We don't need to hear all that. We don't need to hear all that. Whoa. Jesus Christ, that girl can throw. Look at this shit. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see that? Damn. Oh, yeah, I saw this today. The doggy sees pictures of himself doing tricks on the phone and he repeats them just by looking at the picture. He's a Shiba Inu or whatever they're called. Bop! Puts his paws over. And then this one. What's this one? Puts his head on the person's hand. Dude lies down on his motorcycle in the rain. Immediately protects the passenger. That's probably his girlfriend. Ah! Uh, I don't want to see it again. Go away! I'm going to touch the giant. Touch him. Touch him. Or did he already touch him? Bam! Touched him. Nothing to see here, just going for a casual stroll. Looks like a bear's in the corner. Yep, that's a bear, all right. That. Oh, my God. Don't you just love how everyone has to whip out their phone and record this shit? Crazy. The society we live in now. Free car accident. 
Oh my. So what about all the passengers on the bus? The driver jumps out of bus when brakes fail. Where's all the passengers? He left them in there to die. What a great guy. Why isn't my... Okay. Couldn't scroll for a second. Oh, there's sound? It sounded like people were clapping. I want to see him jump out of the bus again. You have one hour to do anything, but afterward, you can't ever do it again. What do you do? Uh... Oh. What to do if ice shows up at your door? What does that mean? Ice. What's ice? According to the TV shows. Uh, what the hell do they mean by ice? Don't care that much to to be honest. Imagine this bitch out her goddamn mind. A Trump official tried to argue that detained children don't need soap, toothbrushes, or beds to be safe and sanitary while in border patrol custody. Oh yeah? That makes a lot of sense. Look at Hunter. Hunter S. Thompson living the life. Not giving a fuck. Skaters jump in Colombia after being ruthlessly run over by them. Beat the shit out of him. Oh, they're running him over. Holy Christ. Now everyone's fighting the cops. Get him! Come on, get him! Get him! This is exciting. I want to see this. Oh, look! That one guy's getting his ass kicked gonna die they're just truck fucking the shit out of that cop what do people have to say about this I love how quickly he abandoned his partner sorry buddy but it's too late for you but don't worry I will somehow carry on I'll come back for you thunder gun it over the curb But when United Airlines baggage handlers broke a musician's value guitar and then spent a year refusing to pay for repairs, he wrote a song called United Breaks Guitars that got over 16 million hits on YouTube. Reportedly caused United stock to sink 10% and finally forced them to pay 3000 dollars compensation mad lad what a mad lad oh who hides behind the mask oh my god it's Jake Blake he's showing up everywhere nowadays that guy shout out to H3H3 from the UK my son Harry and Theo share the same birthday yeah, nobody fucking gives a shit. What do we got here? Explosion. Fire at the LPG facility in Jurong, Singapore. A fire. Oh my. That's an LPG facility. 
What is an LPG facility? Can't imagine how bad it would be if it wasn't for that single hose. Come on, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Hold, oh, hold my, hold my Cosmo while I lose my temper. Not safe for work. Let's see if it's not safe. Oh, her titties are out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't show that. Guess these fellers didn't skip leg day. Why? Yeah. Dog. Uh oh, he's gonna he's gonna kill that dog. Boom, dead. What a dick. What is this? Auto generated captions on point. Oh, I got a meat afternoon penis. <laughs> that uh, Valley Folk has a little inside joke where they sing a song about a how about a mid afternoon peanut butter spoon or something. <laughs> And the, the auto-generated captions t t depicted it as gotta meet afternoon penis. Oh, stretch. You know what, folks? Enough of the gay jokes. Those thems be the Beatles. Is that a beetle? That doesn't look like a beetle. That guy in the... Right here. The bottom right. Is that a beetle? Say hello to the beat legs. Oh, uh, when she finally unclenches her thighs, and you can finally come up for air. Ha. Ha. I'm not sure what it is, but I am. Um, but I sure as hell ain't gonna get it wet. That's a Gremlins reference. Hey, is that Marilyn? Oh, no. Fucking Saxenda's back. Jesus Christ. Is it just me? Or do Tibetan foxes just look like someone tried to draw a normal fox and it kind of sucked? Yeah, that's true. It looks like a shitty drawing of a regular fox. Prettiest blind doggo in the snow. Eh... Uh. Huh? That's not a cow, that's a cat. Everybody get along. Crime rate drops to 0%. Keanu Reeves. He's got the moves. He's got the grooves. Well, everyone. Um, I think that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Jizzode podcast. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed listening to my, um, to everything I've ever done and everything I ever will do as I sit here and export a screen grab and try to focus on talking to my audience. Thank you. And please, come again. Bye. I'm not really a big fan of her.
she kind of annoys me sometimes, but... Ah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hey! Why don't you sing a little song with me? Why don't you sing a song for me? Why don't you sing a song for me? Sing a song for me. Gravy or PCP. Ecstasy won't do for me, but you can come swing a wonderful Christmas time. You're gonna get demonetized, sampling, having a wonderful demonetization time.